When I tell you this is like my absolute favorite hotel room, it's definitely one of my favorite hotel rooms. It gives me pretty woman vibes when I come in here. The decor is always so nice. Love it. It's always clean here. It's one of my fav fav favorite hotels. I can't even express it. Or okay, so when you come in to the bathroom, you gotta turn the light on. Cut the light on. So when you come in here, you have these three drawers. Nothing's in here, but that's okay. And then this one has a safe deposit in here. It's a safe. This one has a safe. And then, guess what this is? It's a freaking refrigerator. So cool. And they always give us tea, coffee, chocolate, hot chocolate. So nice. And you come over here, have a nice robe, you have your suitcase stand, have some more drawers, hair dryer. Mm. You have your, I love this counter, it's so nice. And it's always just so clean here, so clean. You have your LED light here. <laughs> you get some towels. And then you have another part of the bathroom. It's so big, it's, this is such a big hotel. I love it. Look at that shower. And the tub, the tub is so deep. Mm-hmm, it's just always so clean. And then you have another, you have another mirror. Ah, listen. Oh, man. Oh, this is so big. So big. Mm. Definitely um, my favorite. This hotel is so amazing. So this is the ladies dressing room that's located in the gym area. It's so nice. It's so nice. Excuse my heavy breathing. It's finished working out, out of shape, but back in the gym again. It's so nice in here. Wow, very nice. Hey, how are you? It's so nice. Oh, this is the pool area. Let's see. Yeah, oh, the sauna. They have a sauna too, but it's closed. Showers. This is so grand. I just love it here. It's like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite hotels for all the right reasons. And then you have your gym area. It's so nice. You have your elliptical. You have a little bit of weights. Got a pool. It is so nice in here. I'm so happy to see the gym opened again on layovers as I need it. Okay. All right. Here's the lobby. Here's the lobby. It's so nice. When you come out, it's so grand. So grand and nice. Let's talk about nice. Look at the staircase. It's so nice. Wow. The elevator is nice. I love it. Look at this phone. So dope. All right, so this is the hallway to our room. OMG. I can't wait for you guys to see what's inside. Social distance and other the rules, stay at home. My donut here, and my teaspoon. This hotel is a classic. It's so nice. I drank so much water, I have to use the restroom now. So I had to go to the bathroom, and <laughs> this is so nice. Like, it kind of reminds me of like royalty. So nice overall hotel, like. Okay, with this old paper, paper wallpaper. Floors is old, but I like the marble. Marble is really nice. It's just a girly girl bathroom, and this is so cute. Like, <laughs> okay. Okay, I think it's a bathroom. A DoorDash. 
child. All right, guys, good morning. I made it on the aircraft. I wiped down my equipment. I pre flighted my equipment. And what does pre flighting mean? Pre flighting means to check your equipment before you start your day, just like an overview, like the speakerphone, maybe, or your regular phone, or your jump seats and make sure all your lights are working. Just a little quick rundown. Um, we are about to work to New Orleans from Salt Lake City. We have three legs today and we are working on a 737 Boeing aircraft. This is the Boeing aircraft 737. Um, I'm not really a fan of this, but manually arm my doors and get on my knees and play with the dirty garden bars. And I don't really like to do it. But, you know, it's better than a 717 Boeing, which I don't, really don't like. I did not like the aircraft at all. So, yeah. Just a reference. These are the dirty gurdy bars. I talk about them. I don't like it. Um, so, we have our, our stuff here. We have a full case of water. We have some headphones. Mask. Stay masked up on your plane. Be nice to your flight attendant. And we have our Pure Wipes. Are on a flight with us, you're going to get a snack bag. This is snack bags. We have goldfish today. And then we have this stuff, everybody's favorite cookie, and some water, and a thank you card. This is our service that we are doing right now with my current airline. Everybody gets one if they want one. Usually people turn them down, but that's what it is. This is the galley. This is the kitchen of the aircraft. Bloop, 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 bloop. And I am working, and I'm working in the back today. I am the door safety person. I have to confirm that all the doors are disarmed, all that good stuff, and make sure nobody's left on the plane. Super easy. This flight today is two hours and 45 minutes. Let's get the day started. This is my bag. All the tags and whistles. Oh yeah, y'all, I got my Cafe Rio. It was not ready when I ordered it, but it's here. Cafe Rio! Let's go down. I got a veggie burrito because I'm not eating meat. Well, pork or state so that's what it is i'm so hot i'm kind of tired i think i'm running off all this energy from the gym and your girl is tired my period is mad at me my skin is breaking out it's aggravating all right i'm about to start boarding so i'll see you guys in new when wallens happy mardi gras Yay. all right guys we just made it to the new orleans airport we come back here after our here we go New Orleans, to Atlanta, Atlanta back to New Orleans after this. The airport is fairly not that busy. Okay. I'm just really walking around. Have nothing to do but sit here and do nothing. Here we go. So, oh, but now I'm dark. Okay, this whole stop me. Someone's walking the airport doing nothing. I'm gonna buy no beignets because I don't like to deal with the mess. And I don't need no carbs. I have done it this morning, so help. So you have more restaurants open in New Orleans. Usually it's not as many restaurants open in New Orleans, so that's something new to see. Walk into my gate, get some tea. So this is our plane, same plane. Ah! So we had the same plane today for 737, Boeing Aircrafts. You have two exit rows here. Bloop. Make sure you guys are being nice to your flight attendants when you're in the exit row. See with the extra leg room. Okay. Got my little Starbucks coffee tea. Coffee tea. Starbucks tea. <laughs> and again, I'm in the bike. I'm in the back. You have two bathrooms. They're all clean. Bloop. All right, let's get this day finished. Ah! Here's a friendly reminder. Always bring your own tea bags and get hot water and honey from Starbucks. Saving them coins, baby. Yeah. All right, guys, this flight should be fairly empty. Who knows? We have to sit down the whole time because we have turbulence. 
and I ain't mad about it. This flight is 53 minutes and your girl is tired. We started in Salt Lake City this morning and listen, this is the day in the life of a flight attendant. Real life, y'all. Real life. Working out, trying to be healthy, but now I'm super tired. I'm still kind of hungry and I already ate like three times today and it's only two o'clock, almost three. I'm hungry. I will not be working out tonight. So I about that this morning. I may do a couple squats and lunges in my room and go to sleep. But yeah. So I'm on a plane. I'm not doing not one thing right now. We already provided we already provided equipment already. And that's what it is. So let's get to Atlanta and back to New Orleans so we can be on a layover. All right, guys, so we are back in Atlanta. I'm about to head back to New Orleans and then we'll be officially done with our day. And right now I'm on a sit, maybe like a two hour sit. So now I'm gonna edit this video and do nothing until the plane comes in. So here we go. I'm just editing my Jamaica birthday vlog trip. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. And make sure you guys watch this video. I'm putting some hard work in. So I thought, this is what you deal with as a flight attendant. People like this. <laughs> what you say? This what, what? People like this. This people like this what? People like this. This is who you fly with. Okay, you be like, <laughs> right. just go. All right, y'all. It is seven twenty-six. We are heading to New Orleans. Finally, it's been a long, long day. We started at um, ten a.m. our time. Not nine a.m. our time, but I've been up since seven a.m. I went to the gym this morning. I'm beat tired. Tired. Eating all day. I have been eating all day, but you know when you work out, you no, know, when you work out, though, you you get hungry. You just snitching on me, like I just wanted to tell y'all what I was eating all day. This is why you gotta. This is not. This is how. This is why you need to mind. Watch who you tell your business to, okay? Because people be snitching on you. Jamai snitching hard, and here we're trying to do a Molly wall. What you? Bye, y'all. landed in a wallens happy perfect we are about to head to our hotel we have about 10 hours here and we are going to bed i'm not doing nothing i might get here going to bed watching some good girls and calling it a day must get into the layover it's nothing much i've been here many times and it's nothing much here but a bed let's go you guys are watching make sure you guys subscribe to this channel Bing. <laughs> Oh, I just made it to my hotel room and one thing I don't like is coming into a dark room. I don't know why it bothers me, but sometimes I just can't find the light. Like it's hard to find a light sometimes in hotel rooms. It really freaks me out. Like, ugh. All right, y'all. And another thing that grinds my gears in hotel rooms. Why is it that the hotel rooms, especially in a cold place, is on 62 degrees? It's freezing. Like, like I'm so Okay, I'm playing because it's really hot and I don't like to be congested. And it's not. We in New Orleans and it's like negative five degrees. Stop playing with me. Okay. That's what I was saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we made it to New Orleans. We are at our hotel layover and. <laughs> and yeah I'm not ever a fan of my short New Orleans layover I'm just never it's not by anything it's by the airport it's not cute ever like but here we go <laughs> I'm just really dramatic all the time I don't know why who didn't who raised me like this okay so Let's get into the video. We're in New Orleans, this is day two, day three. Tomorrow we go home, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And guess what? The schedules come out at two o'clock, but we will be on the plane, but no work. I like to check my bed to make sure it's nothing crazy going on and untuck it before I get uncomfortable because I get so irritated with trying to sleep and my sheets are tucked. It's so annoying, it really bothers me. No bed bugs, nothing dirty in here. We're good to go. And they have like a little mattress protector on here. So I'm not too mad about it. 
This hotel is really basic. It is what it is. It's outdated a little bit for my liking, but who's paying for this hotel? Not me, so. Oh yeah. As a flight attendant, your accommodations are paid for. So this hotel room is paid for. I don't pay for it. My airline pays for it. The thing I pay for is food and my activities. They pay for our transportation from the airport to the hotel. And yeah, this is when I'm working. When I'm not working, I pay for everything myself. Like my last video, the S Hotel, I paid for that. That was my birthday trip. Make sure you guys watch that video. Somewhere in here, it's gonna go, okay? Let's get it. Make sure you guys watch that video. Make sure you guys watch my last video, my Jamaica, or wait. Make sure you watch my last video. It's gonna be posted right here as well. Ding. Make sure you guys are subscribed too. Ding. <laughs> to be dramatic. But anyways, our accommodations are paid for by my airline. And like I said, when I'm not working, or it's on me. So it's what it is. All right, so I'll check my bed. That's already checked. She's already done, boom. My bag is over here, boom, great. Um, like I said, this is a late, when I, when, anytime I get to my hotel really late, I like to go to bed. I'm not working out. I already worked out this morning anyway, so going to bed. Let's put my bags away because I am ready to go to sleep. Bags are here. All right, so we just made it to the Atlanta airport, y'all. And I had a Nassau turn. But someone put down my Nassau turn. So I'm going home and it's like 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. Crew has been at it again because I've been getting blessed, 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 blessed. But we're about to go home and get ready for the schedule to come out. Let's get into bidding. Happy bidding day. Let's go. Or happy schedule day. But anyways, make sure you guys follow and subscribe to my channel. I am finishing up my trip. This is the ending of my vlog today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Flying with skates and we are out. See you guys next time. All right, y'all. I'm officially on 200 on my YouTube channel. So I just want you guys to go, to go support my channel. I'm trying to hit 1K before the year is over. So... <laughs> Support me. I, it's free to support me. Okay, y'all. Like, period, poo. But seriously, guys, <laughs> support a black business because I am a business myself. So, <laughs> I'm so serious, y'all. I just want to thank everybody who's already subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate the support. I'm really appreciative of people who watch my videos. I put a lot of hard work into my videos and time and effort. So, I may spell some things wrong, but you know, we ain't perfect now, okay? But, for, but seriously, guys, subscribe to my channel. Ah! I'm about to hit 1K really soon, y'all. Really soon. It's about to go down, okay? So when I hit 400, I'm going to do a giveaway. Boop. So make sure you guys have subscribed to my channel. Thank you. Flying with Skates. The link is in the bio. Peace out.